What is Spin Dark Records? For me, Spin Dark is, is it's basically my life. It's that I know it's Argy's life as well, but um, I'll speak for myself. Um, for me, Spin Dark is just it's just an outlet for my sort of passion for music. Yeah. Not just grime music, but just kind of UK music, bass music in general. Okay, so is like, it a label then primarily? Yeah. Okay, it's a label. It's a, it's a collective. It's kind of just a. Um, it's kind of an excuse to just <laughs> <laughs> make good music and just kind of have some fun and kind of try uh, try and kind of make our own lives. Yeah. Out of this. What would you say defines the sound of Spin Dark Records? Is there one? I wouldn't say there's a sound, no. Um, Cave said something really good to me, was in Nando's before he came, and which was just saying, Spin Dark <laughs> is like, um, it's an emotion, it's feeling. The music we put out, it's, it's got a feeling to it. It's got to make you feel a certain way. We, we just, it's, it's feeling, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It hits you somewhere. It's yeah. got a special spot on you, man. Exactly that. Let's talk about you two now. Let's talk about how you two met. Um, and where did the idea for Spin Dark originate from? It was around um, 2010, 2011, yeah. I care about six years ago, seven mm. years ago. Yeah, we was um, we was mates. Um, we was just, I used to see him probably about every week. Um, just, just used to hang about and stuff like that. But I never, he didn't know I was into music. We, we knew we both liked music, but we didn't know he was actually musicians. Yeah. So one day... Um, I asked, so what are you doing at uni? Because someone told me he was studying, he's been studying to be a doctor or something like that. Yeah. And then I asked him, what you, would you do? And he was like, oh, I study music. Like, I make, I make, I make like, tunes. And I was like, okay, like, what do you make? And he showed me a tune. I'll never forget it. It was a tune called Jungle Dove. And it reminded me of like, um, you know, the producer Joker? Yes, It yes. reminded me of like that sort of sound and it hit me. I couldn't believe, I couldn't believe what I was hearing. <laughs> like, I've known this guy for so long. I didn't know he, he could make music like this. Yeah, yeah. So one day I met him, I kept listening to his music, and then one day I met him and was like, listen, I'm gonna build this label. I want you to be like the main producer and I wanna play the tunes and I wanna push this. And we used to meet all the time. We used to like sit in a car park um, in Iceland in West Wickham in Croydon. Not dodgy at all. I mean, <laughs> no, sounds, but you know what it was? We, like a legit business meeting that does. He used to have his laptop and <laughs> yeah. it was like, we'll just blare the music out and just dream about moments like this, like coming on <laughs> like the BBC doing this and that. At first it seemed like maybe a silly dream. Yeah. And it could have been easy for us both to have just sort of went Split. our separate ways. Yeah. And yeah, but we carried it yeah, on and now we're here. Yeah.